I will never forget what I asked God that day as I begin to drown. Save me so I can see my son again, and I will live my life for you. Now I'll spend my life with family and friends in the great outdoors, using my story to tell God's story. I'm Michael Harrell, and this is Surrender Outdoors. This segment of Surrender Outdoors is brought to you by Blackburn Plumbing, Advantech Pest Services, Lynch Lawn and Landscape, and Racing J Signs and Designs. Hey everybody, happy Independence Day. Hope you guys are enjoying your 4th of July, popping lots of fireworks, cooking out with family, enjoying some watermelon. It is hot, buddy, here in southeastern Oklahoma. The world's on fire. Um, it's going to get hot all week. It's 101 right now, and it's 2.15 in the afternoon. Going to probably hit 103. We won't even talk about the heat indexes because this week, man, 107, 108 degrees is what they're calling for Friday and Saturday. But anyways, we're headed out to the lake. We got the RV station Puma behind us in tow. Uh, we're headed to Lakeside on Lake Texoma. We're going to be fishing with downwind charters. These guys catch some big old stripers, and uh, we're going to show you guys not only how to catch them, but what Lake Texoma offers. Um, the fishing here is phenomenal, some of the best in the country. So if you're ever in southeastern Oklahoma in this area, you definitely want to book a trip with these guys and uh, get out here and catch some striper. But not only that, we're going to show you how to cook them, how we cook them up, and how we like to eat them with some etouffee sauce on top of them, blacking them babies, and get all Cajon. And my buddy Jeff and Robert, I can't talk like them, so they're really good at it. But anyways, uh, we're going to get the camper set up and uh, enjoy the week camping. So I uh, hope you guys have a good fourth and be blessed. We'll see you on the water. At what time do you go. start your day? 2.30. 2.30. Yeah. Most people want to mash the button and let it fall straight down. Well, what happens is that bait is swimming as it's going down, it does a somersault. Y'all ready to rip some lips? We're ready, ma'am. You know what I do? I set the hook so hard, I cross in my eyes, I send on the pearl vision. <laughs> Come on, you're reeling like your brother. Come on. My brother don't fish. Hold that tip up a little bit right there. Woo, big him. Good job. Good one. Oh. Alright, I'm on the board. Right. We'll get a picture of you and Matt. 
Daddy. Get you some of that pumpkin. <laughs> Y'all need to come see down when God service and watch Surrender Outdoors. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Oklahoma is one of the hottest markets in the nation right now. Ryan Appraisal and Realty specializes in finding the best property to fit your needs. With interest rates at an all-time low, now is the ideal time to buy or sell. Let Brian Appraisal and Realty help you get the most for your investment and make your real estate dreams come true. Now's the time to make your front lawn feel more like a welcome mat. The Z200 is built to cut like a pro, to cut quickly, to turn on a dime, to control with effortless precision. Kubota quality, affordable price. The Kubota Z200. Right now, get the Kubota Z200 mower for zero down, 0% 0 APR for 36 months. You can visit us online at texomutility.com. Trashman here with the Trashman Chronicles, and we are so happy to support Mike and Surrender Outdoors. But here's what we came to tell you. If you're in southeastern Oklahoma, North Texas, and you're not using hot sanitation for all your sanitation needs, you're missing the boat. Whether it's residential trash, commercial trash, roll-offs, portable toilets, septic pumps, we got it all. Check us out, HoffmanSanitation.com. Also, check us out on the TikTok at the Trashman Chronicles. There's a new world out there. It's a world where you can tackle heavy lifting with the push of a button. A world where you can go easy on your lawn, even through tight turns. A world where you can taste speed without losing track of your pack. So spring into action, discover new places. Because with machines like these, your world just gets bigger. This segment of Surrender Outdoors is brought to you by Shamrock Bank, Tish Lumber Company, Westside Family Dentistry, and Southern Sportsman Whitetail Foundation. All right, everybody, we are out here on beautiful Lake Texoma, and we are with Downwind Guide Service, Kevin McCullough, and we got Jason Brewer from Play On Sports in the boat. We got Zach from RV Station, Chris from RV Station, Oh my God! And Walt from RV Station. Walt's whipping our butts right now. And of course, my daughter Maddie. And uh, you guys, we are uh, chasing strappers. Oh, that was a big. That was a good fish. Good. Yeah. I can see them under it. That's pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, big fish on. Big fish. Oh, I'm going to get that. Compared to Zach, it's a monster. Yeah, that's a monster. All right. That's an eight pounder. That's good eating right there. That's perfect. Hey, hey. Here, let me, let me show you the secret. Give me some secret sauce. You want me reeling for you? <laughs> I ain't gonna be fishing next time, don't you? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> this is the fish of the day right here. Crank on, crank on, crank on, crank on. I see him, I see him. Whoa, big one. What's up, buddy? Don't kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Get in the pearl region. Another hole. Don't <laughs> yeah, he was reeling in. You were reeling in too. I was checking out. Chase him home. <laughs> Chase him. Uh. Hello Tex Homeland, Ken Lefevers here with Tishomingo Chevrolet. I'd like to invite you to our dealership. If you're looking for a hometown, family business you can trust, Tishomingo Chevrolet is exactly what you're looking for. We are a proud small town dealership and we do what it takes. Hey guys, it's Cannon here at RV Station. If you haven't noticed, RVing has blown up with 71 million folks planning to RV this year. Many will be first time owners hitting the road and making memories with their families. Well, you can start your journey with less hassles when you shop at one of nine RV station locations. We have the best prices in the country on the country's best brands, and we're the only dealership in the country with five-star service before, during, and especially after the sale. RVStation.com. Bushwhackers Land Clearing provides cost-effective land clearing and brush grinding services in Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, and surrounding areas. Our environmentally conscious approach keeps soil disturbance to a minimum. And we can use selective land clearing to clear only the trees you want removed. Bushwhackerslandclearing.com. Commercial, farm and ranch, and right-of-way clearing. 580-920-5039. Mobile Home Warehouse is one of the largest and fastest growing dealers in the state of Oklahoma. We stock over 40 single wide and double wide lot models to choose from. We have five different lenders and a credit repair company to make financing a breeze. Our in-house service team will make sure you never feel alone in this process. Our website makes it simple for you to find the home that you love. Our delivery team will deliver your home quickly so you have more time for this. Mobile Home Warehouse, the better way to buy a home. This segment of Surrender Outdoors is brought to you by Texoma Maintenance and Refrigeration, your American Standard Dealer, Turf Roofing, Taco Casa, and BM Surveying. catch some fish and fillet them up and show y'all how to cook them how we cook them later with some uh we blacken them up 
and put some crawfish etouffee over the top of them on a bed of dirty rice, baby. That's right. As promised, we're going to make our blackened striper with the etu face sauce on top. Um, we're not going to put crawfish or shrimp in it. We don't have any while we're out here camping. But what I use is Tony Sachery's etu mix. Not sponsored by them. Uh, would like to be because I use all their products. And then also Zadran's blackening seasoning. Uh, that's one of my favorite blackening seasonings. You can get this at Walmart. Uh, the etu mix. You can order it online. So. Anyways, it calls for two and a half cups of milk, so that's pretty easy. You just get two and a half cups of milk. And like I said, I what I do a lot of times is I add my own onion, bell pepper, and celery. I just saute those. But since we're out here at the lake, and just so y'all saute that up and put it in your etouffee once you get it going. Any butter it says three tablespoons, but that's close enough. The hunk. Basically, you just start heating it. Like I said it's pretty simple. The blackening process is a little bit different, but and I don't think we have a whisk in the camper. That's normally what I use, but I'll use whatever that's called. Spatula. Spatula. Anyways, you just start heating the milk, melting the butter, then you start pouring in your mix. Like I said, this is, this is the easy part. You don't want to overcook this or burn it though, so you can come show it, man. My season ends, the next one begins. Literally hundreds of hours of scouting, feeding, and preparing for that one opportunity. Buck Seduction Protein, a scent to die for. What do you get when you custom match today's technology and one of the most intense hunting scents on the market? Scent balls, proven time and time again as a lethal hunting attractant for many game species. Scent balls technology allows scent to last for multiple hunts and seasons from a single usage instead of the one and done messy liquids and quick shot aerosol attractants. Scent balls is long lasting, efficient, and clean. Scent balls, the easy choice. This segment of Surrender Outdoors is brought to you by Obsession Bows, Hillbilly Bubba's Barbecue, HHA Sports, Trees and Camo, and No Scent.
Harvey Station. Yeah. Harvey Station, come by for some fish fry. Remember, do this on a low heat until that butter gets melted. Okay, while that's cooking, we'll start getting our fillets ready for the blackening process. Of course, I rinse them and then I dry them off. Back kitchen on the camper and we'll get this stuff going. All right, the camper on is going in. We don't need that no more. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our grill on high, let it get hot for this blackening process. Of course, the grill on my camper has already been seasoned. This one's called a gray stone. Uh, of course, they make a black stone, and they're all about the same in my opinion. But anyways, we're gonna we're gonna let this thing get get good and hot for the blackening. Let's go ahead and blacken these. And you wanna be, you wanna put a bunch on there. You don't wanna be stingy with it because you really want this meat to blacken. You wanna be generous with it. Yeah, very, very generous with it. Getting all that. Yep. I mean, really coat that stuff. You can always buy another can. So I'm gonna actually turn it down a little bit, but I'm gonna coat it, try to keep this fish from sticking. It's real bad about sticking. So just give it a good generous coating. Turn your heat down just a little bit because those things, I got it, get pretty hot. All right, we're just gonna take our fillets. It could actually even be a little hotter. What you wanna do is we're gonna cook these fillets to about, they're about, they'll be about half white. Once, once, once you see them about half white from the bottom up, we're gonna flip them. You can do this with crappie, bass, any of your fish. We just like to do it with striper. It's a beautiful evening. It's been 103 degrees. Actually, it was 106 yesterday. 103 today. All right, let's flip a couple of these. That one looks like this. I like to get them a little bit blacker than that, but you can kind of see what's going on there. Starting to pick up nice. Oh yeah, that one's perfect right there. That's how I like them. Let's run in here and get the rice going real quick. Those are almost done. This stuff you just open. Like I said, you make your own rice. It's gonna be a lot better than that. Oh my gosh, ridiculous. Set that to the side for right now. All right, let's go get our fillets. Put this other stripper. You don't have to put this on the, or the etouffee sauce on this. You can just eat it like this. Mm. It's good. Man, how's the lighting looking? It's good.
Okay, the rice is done. Get a fancy paper plate here. I'm gonna put this rice on the side. I'll show y'all how I do it. Since this has got vegetables and stuff in it. Spatula. Just take your rice or take your fillet, put it on your rice, and we'll push a couple pieces. Like I said, not anything fancy, but it's really delicious. And then I take Slap Your Mama. I'm not sponsored by them. That's some of the best stuff in the world. We eat it on everything at our house. Doctor it up for that. Let's see what tastes like. You want to taste it? You want some? Huh? I'm sure I'm open. You first. Cook always has to taste it first. I already know what it's going to taste <laughs> like. It's going to be amazing. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's ridiculous. I don't get excited about much, but I get excited about good food. And this is good food. So, anyways, that's our blackened striper with that two face sauce. If you guys try it, or uh, send us a PM. We may post this on our Facebook page. So, all right, y'all be blessed, and uh, thank you for watching Surrender Outdoors. Woo! Mmm. Oh my God, it's These good. are the bloopers. We're gonna switch gears next week. Y'all tune in as we'll be hunting hogs with Texas Women Outdoors and our buddies Cactus and Hoss Williams. I know, funny names, but they're country as can be, and there's some hog catching fools. You guys tune in to see all the action next week. We appreciate you watching. God bless. Zach, I'm glad you're not six inches taller because my hook's dangling right above your head. <laughs> <laughs> you're all right. Closed caption for Surrender Outdoors is provided by Tishomingo Chevrolet. We do what it takes.